ZBZ, or rather another mirror matchup followed by a ZBZ. Sorry guys if I sound a little bit unenthusiastic. I'm like really feeling the pain now of having woken up so early in the morning. What time is it now? It's 8.40? Oh god, it's like killing me now. Ah, I didn't even drink any coffee. Terrible. It's gonna be JYJ, the random guy, random kid. He's got one loss this season. Alright, sweet. Uh, dude. Carol, you should come over and wake me up. Like, smack me or something. Uh, Alright. Game number two. Getting pumped up. I should do some push ups or something. Yeah. Oh, X Pac, is that this guy? Really? Really? That's the guy? Oh man, I love this guy. <laughs> oh, that was such a sick play. Oh man. Oh man, this this guy. Oh, I love this guy. I love this guy. Yes. JYJ. Is J can somebody just link the GIF of that? Or the video of that? Hold on, so that all all our, our lovely SC2 companions who have never seen that before can, can see that. Somebody please just link it. Just link it. Oh, it was so good. It was, that was so glorious. Oh. oh, that was JYJ. I totally recognize his face now. Oh, JYJ. Good thing there's no lurkers in StarCraft too. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, so it looks like Overlord actually heading in a funny direction here instead he, or right, no, not really funny actually, he's heading basically like towards the 12 o'clock ish to the right of the Terran main so later on he can like poke in and see if check if his gas is being taken um, and I guess he might send a, send a second Overlord towards the natural <laughs> Kitty! Did you guys hear that? Korean commentator Kitty. Apparently that's how you say Hello Kitty in Korean. Nice. Pretty sure that heart is for me. I can't read the Korean sign, but I'm pretty sure that fan girl is in love with me. That was like a marriage proposal or something. <laughs> <laughs> and we just have a standard wall in for the Terran. We have a completely disinterested fangirl. Standard. How can we first from, uh, from what's his face? The Eva. Of course, this is uh, WC WCS Antigua, so it's forced cross bonds, which I think is nice for uh, doing these kinds of slightly greedy builds. Not really, though. Hat tree first, it's fine. And he's gonna drone scout as well. I don't think he'll be able to get in though. Well, maybe he will. Maybe he will. It's like no second deeper just yet to complete the wall for uh, for JYJ. Now he's gonna see the drone coming in though. Is he gonna quickly send a second SCB over to just finish off that wall? Just prevent the scout? Or does he not actually care? Uh, well, it looks like he's actually just placed the command center at his natural, so I guess he just doesn't care. Or rather, clearly he doesn't, because now he's just letting, uh, letting the drone see everything. And yes, the second overload is in fact heading towards the natural, as I said. So he's going to have a couple overlords in good positions. Uh, he is. First overlord moving in, going to be able to see the right side gas. We won't see the left side one. He able, at least he'll be able to see if there's like some kind of uh, weird quick double gas. Alright. And it is in fact going to be a double gas. Now the thing is though, uh, the overlord doesn't know about the other one, as I said. Is he going to try and sacrifice it to have a look? He doesn't need to sacrifice it just yet. Uh, he can just wait a little bit longer, wait another minute or so, and then send that guy in there, see exactly what's going on. Of course, he wants to see exactly what tech uh, JYJ is going for with that gas. So he's sending out a couple of blings as well, sending some to his thirds to check. Just any SEVs lurking around, perhaps any manor buildings being built. 
Yeah, this Overlord is chugging away. Is he actually leaking something? Look, there's like smoke coming out of the back of that Overlord. Is that just me? Wait a minute, do Overlords always do that? Hold on a minute. Are Overlords actually like steam powered machines or something? They just like spew gas out the back? Do they always do that? Oh wait, looks like the other Overlords actually spewing gas too. Okay, apparently I had just like terrible attention to detail. And those queens are going somewhere. And I don't know. What is this? Is this like a misclick? Uh this has gotta be a misclick, right? What is he doing? They're like looking at his face for when he realizes what's going on, but what? What? Uh, he? Even? No? No, he's got the queens at home. Is he gonna? Is this like? Is he gonna actually attack? Is he just gonna ling all in? I think he might actually just ling all in with two queens at the front. Oh my god, this is gonna be sick. Cause with a new queen range, they're actually not that bad. And then by the time they get there, they're gonna have a lot of energy saved up for transfuses. I think he's actually just gonna do like a queen ling all in. This is insane, man. Oh man. I saw cats do this on the stream the other day, but like that's about it. Somebody says Nest T did this in GSL. Wait, Specfire, aren't you the guy that got banned on Team Liquid? Wait, did he just lay a creep tumor in the middle of the map? How did he even do that? Wait, how is there creep there? Wait, what just happened? Did he like... Wait, what? Did he make a hatchery there and cancel it and then like poop out a creep tumor? I think that's what just happened. Okay, I'm pretty. I, I guess he must have just made a hatchery and cancelled it and then stuck a creep tumor down. So he's actually got two queens creeping up the middle of the map right now. This is like so random. <laughs> Whoa, this build. I'm like, I'm like looking at the stream chat more than I'm looking at the game just so that. Just in case anybody can explain to me what the hell is going on right now. But that is pretty cool. Oh man, and look, and look, he's got like, because the queens, while they were walking across, they had like a million energy saved up, so he just pooped out a ton of creep tumors, and this creep, this is actually really smart, right? Because now he's got queens starting creep from halfway, so basically by the time the, que the creep from his natural gets to the middle of the map, the creep from the middle of the map will have gotten all the way to JYJ's natural, so basically he's going to have a creep path all the way from his natural to JYJ's natural in like half the time it would have taken otherwise. That is actually really sick. I can't. That is wow. That's actually pretty good thinking. But I don't know if that's worth it though, because basically he sent out two queens really early, right? And then he also had to make a hatchery and cancel it. So I mean, it was kind of expensive for him as well to be doing this. It's not like he just, you know, randomly got all this creep out for free. And it'd be really funny if JYJ just like scans it once and kills all the creep tumors. And so like, ah, oh, damn it! There goes my master plan. I do like this is quite clever though. I like it. I like it. Anyway, it's got some roaches though, so that will help. But not that many roaches, and a few marines and marauders already moving out here. I think he has to run away here. Oh god, run away, queens, run away! They can't even run away that far because the creep, because you know the creep only goes so far. No queens, the no, queens! And they don't even have energy for transfuse or anything. Wow, that was a completely unnecessary stim. What? Why did he stim there? Why? The queen, like, there was no creep there. The queens were not going to escape. He just completely wasted his stim, I think. That's a bit of a mistake. But anyway, he's going to go in here. He's going to clear some of these creep tumors. Um, nice little scan there, taking down all the active creep tumors. And oh, he's moving in towards the third base. The queen, lings, and roaches coming in. The drone's being pulled off the line, but that's not really going to work. Nice stutter step micro from JYJ. Oh man, the queens and roaches alone are not going to do it. He does have four queens though. I imagine he has a decent number of transfusions. He should catch that small group before he joins up with the rest of them. Uh, he's going in now. He's going to clean up the small group on the low ground. Looks like there's a load up and a drop out. So it looks like uh, there are going to be enough units now for Kiva to hold. But I don't know. That was pretty costly for him. He lost a lot of lings and a few roaches and drones there. Uh, and he also lost all his active creep tumors outside of his natural. This is like such a weird creep situation if you just look at the mini map. I mean, like, all that creep in the middle of the map is nice, but it's not really doing anything for him right now. So, you know, he made a pretty big early investment, and it hasn't paid off yet. I mean, it can still pay off later in the game. Like, if he holds off this attack and he can rejoin or he restart all his creep here at his natural, he can definitely still make use of it. But I really like this constant pressure from JYJ. Basically, just kind of 
denying Kiva's entire game plan right now just by putting on a lot of early pressure. Uh, and although it looks like a Baneling Speed is actually almost on, we haven't really seen many Banelings just yet, but oh, there's the scan in the middle, taking out all the precious creep. Oh no, oh, he's gonna get the active tumors. No, cancel them, cancel them! Why is he not canceling them? What? Why did he even not just cancel those tumors? He just let all the active tumors die. You can just cancel them and then do them again later. That's a bit silly. So now he's got like almost no creep left now in the middle of the map. So he his entire plan is just done. <coughs> well, it was a good idea. Oh, okay, there's a third there. <laughs> For a second I was like, wait, is he just gonna pull SCVs and kill him? No, he's actually just transferring SCVs to the third there. Um, yep, there we go. So third base up now, and ooh, look at that obnoxiously positioned for uh, <laughs> for the Marines. So he won't even be able to reach them there. Oh, no drop for you. He's probably just going to put them back there. Oh, no, he's just going to fly away. Okay. So Terra's now on three base, so the Zerg's three base, which is not good for Zerg. That is, in fact, a less than ideal situation for, uh, for Zerg. Looks like he's going to go pick off some of these spotting overlords. It's going to be very annoying. Going to deny some vision uh, for Kiva. Looks like he does still have a couple of tumors left outside the Terra Natural, outside the Terra Third. But uh, oh no, now they're going to get taken down by scans. But actually, if you think about it, I think uh, I think JYJ has used like three or four scans to take out these tumors. So that's you know three or four mules that he could have had instead. Um, so you know, it's not like it's not like he got killed all that for free. But I think the investment was a lot bigger for Kiva to send out those two really early queens. Anyway, gonna chase down this dropship or medevac rather. Whoops! A hey, whoopsie daisies. And that's gonna go down pretty easily. Meanwhile, one queen is just randomly over here. There's actually still a creep there, so he can actually still poop out a creep tumor if he wants. Oh, he's gonna do it! Ah, uh, look at that! Using the receding creep to just poop out some more creep tumors. Kiva is really serious about getting this creep going. Meanwhile, making a lot of banelings here while we just buffer into oblivion. Oh, oh, oh we're back. Oh man, that is a lot of banelings. Wait, what happened to so many banelings? People like stop doing that. I guess they got bored. The banelings meme. The Artosis Banelings meme. It's like it's like fallen out of popularity. It's so sad. We gotta bring it back, guys. We gotta bring back some of these like retro memes. Anyway, oh oh, is he going for the attack? Oh, is it gonna be buffer into GG? Buffer into GG? Oh, there's actually like a manor command center there. <laughs> not really manor, but uh, anyway, he's rolling in with the Banelings. Is it gonna be enough? Oh, it's not gonna be enough. He should run away from Mutas right now. Oh, he's gonna lose all the mutas. Oh man, I don't think that was worth it. But more banelings coming in. Is it gonna be enough? Can he clean up the last of the marines? It's actually gonna be very, very close. It looks like it's gonna be a more or less even trade. JYJ, all he needs to do is hold, really, because it's three base versus three base. If he can just not die, it'll be fine. But actually, there are units in the third that I did not see. Uh, there is a counter drop at the Zerg's third, but half of the units gonna get taken out by banelings. But it looks like Heva might have actually. Managed to take the game with this attack. He's killing SCVs at the third base, but he's losing drones at his own third. He's not paying attention. Why is he not paying attention? Why is he even not paying attention to his third base? Multitask, man. Oh my god. He just lost all of his drones there. He's way too focused on the front. He's moving in with Lings and Banelings again. But now it's just like... Oh god, the Banelings! Ah! Oh man, that was not good. So actually, alright, alright, 28 workers lost versus 20, actually not that big of a difference considering all the crazy bailing and, you know, marine drops and random stuff that's been going on. Looks like another drop going out towards the Zerg's main here. I think that is spotted, oh it's definitely spotted now by those overlords. Um, but all the mutalisks have died though, so it's not, like, th there's no, you know, easy way for, uh, for Heva to deal with this. I think that was a big mistake from earlier on. He like, you know, he lost all of his. He went in with the mutaling banning, and that was fine. But then he lost all of his ground forces, and he just kept attacking the marines with the mutas, which is not gonna work. Uh, so he, he, I think he threw away like, you know, 
8 or 10 muted that he really didn't need to. But he is going to deny this drop though. Ling's just sitting on the bottom there, preventing the Marines from coming out. Or rather, not preventing them, but killing them as soon as they do come out. In the meantime, the supply is actually quite close, but Zerg's slightly ahead. He's at 117 supply against the 108 for, uh, for JYJ, making some more banelings here. But there's five siege tanks. Is that five tanks? Yeah, there's like five siege tanks out. So those banelings are going to have a really hard time connecting with the bio. And there's not really that many muted either. So Hiva, I, I think, I don't think he should keep up the attack. I think he should just like try and harass a bit with the muta. Maybe, you know, take a bit of a ri do a risky double expand or something like that. Maybe, you know, play. Although, I mean, he's not really behind actually. He's ahead on the supply. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, he's going to harass the third a little bit, kill some SCBs. Uh, looks like the Marines stim up, but not going to get too much damage off all the Mutalists. And... Gonna just fly away, looks like one SCV at the right side main there. Whoa, hello overlords! That is not a good place to be. Looks like the main almost dry now for JYJ. And the Nat are getting pretty thin. Sorry about the lag once again. Fortunately, my internets are bad. Looks like Baneling's rolling around. Oh, he's splitting them up. He might be uh, setting some Baneling landmines here. Baneling landmines? Baneling landmines? Anybody? Yeah, but look at that. JYJ saw it coming. Starts scanning away. Oh, is that actually out of range of the scan? I'm not really sure. Anyway. Moving in with the meters once again. Uh, not gonna get damage. Oh, look at that! Dropping the Marines by the Overlords. Fortunately, those Overlords actually managed to make it over that uh, air only part. I don't know what to call that. Like, the lack of ground area that we drop the Marines on. And the meter is going to clean up that dropship. Medivac. Whoops. Alright, this lag is actually driving me crazy right now. I was going to stop and, and start the stream again. Well, that's not working. Ah! Uh, shit. I can't get the aspect ratio back. Alright, sweet. I, do I like have another stream open? Why is it suddenly lagging a lot? I don't know what's going on right now. It's like suddenly lagging like crazy. Anyway, nice little scan there, dodging the bailing landmine. Looks like one bailing actually survives. Uh, and oh wow, a nice little run by with the Lynx actually managing to grab a four. Eunice continuing to harass the third base, and Lynx now running into the natural. As soon as JYJ left his base, uh, Heva just moved in with a ton of units. Very nice little backstab here. Actually manages to kill the third command center. All those links go down, but there's actually a burrow in the natural, so some of the links still alive. I think JYJ might have to just go for an all-in attack right now. I don't think there's anything else he can do. He just has to go. JYJ, you just gotta go. Alright, he's going across the map now. Uh, I think he just pulls SCBs and attack with them. No, he's gonna go just distance mine. Uh, that one bailing. I don't think he's gonna do too much. Yeah, I mean, the Marines aren't even that clumped. Oh, well, there's a big clump moving over now. Uh, that was a little bit lackluster, but Banelings moving in! Where are the Mutas though? The Mutas coming in from the back! The Banelings though, mostly connecting with siege tanks, but oh my god, that's gonna be it. Wow, just taking down everything in the middle of the map in a matter of seconds. I still hate that little get rid of the HUD thing, by the way. I don't know why they keep doing that. That's so annoying when they take away the minimap. Anyway, GG from JYJ Hiva takes set number two and keeps SDX alive in the StarCraft 2 best of three portion of the series. Nice. Mm. Uh, 
아, 일단 저구가 아, 스타 원에 비교해서 일단 스타트에서는 상당히 컨트롤해야 될 부분이 훨씬 더 많은 것으로 좀 알고 있는데 또 그렇게 좀 까다롭다고 알고 있는데 일단은 뭐 신대건 선수의 그런 부분에 있어서 만큼은 오늘 경기에서 정말 확실하게 모든 경력들을 다 아우르는 그런 총체적인 지휘관 역할을 제대로 해주었습니다. 자, 스코어 후반전 역시 1대1이 됐습니다. 후반전도 마지막 세 번째 세트를 봐야 되는 상황이 됐는데